Hey guys, thanks for checking out my vlog here. I'm back with a camera bag review, or bags I should say. There are a ton of camera bags out there, too many to list. And uh, the ones I prefer are the ones that have some versatility, weatherproofing, and just overall general build quality. Um, I happen to have low pro bags here. I mean, there are other ones that you can use that are good. Uh, the uh, Kata, Think Tank, it's the other ones that come to mind. But I've, I always like low pro bags ever since I've seen their first ones with the all-weather cover, the AWs, which I'll get to here. So on the left here, I have the, it's called the uh, low pro mini tracker. It's got a lot of room. It's got the, both these bags have the uh, all-weather cover. And that's important because if you're stuck out in the elements and if you don't want to be shooting anymore and you want to protect your equipment, it's nice to have something that'll keep your equipment dry. You can get a pack cover, like a generic pack cover from any camping store that'll go over your backpack or whatever. But I like these because they're integrated, which I'll demonstrate in a second here. Um, the AW holds a lot for what it is and it's not going to break your back or your bank. The one I prefer on a day-to-day -day basis when I go out and shoot for fun or whatever is uh, the slingshot. The they call it the slingshot. It's like a messenger style bag. That's uh, made by Low Pro as well. Um, I'll demonstrate that. And if I want to go even lower tech and more stealthy, or if I don't want to advertise that I have a camera with me, I'll just throw it in a standard backpack here. And what I'll do is I'll take a. Uh, let's see, I'll show it here. I like to call a, I diaper my camera. This is like a padded, smooth on one side, more soft on the other. It's got Velcro. So what you do, the idea is I'm shooting with my iPhone, so I'm holding with one hand. I do apologize. So you just put your camera, wrap it in here, and then throw it in your bag. And this gives some protection, some padding. I mean, it's not going to be great, but it'll give you enough padding that it won't be wiggling around in there with any without any protection, um, and that's that's pretty good because you can put other crap in there, and it doesn't look like you have a camera. Disadvantage, like I said, is you know it doesn't have the nice compartments, and you gotta shove your camera in there. Okay, so these are the both of the bags opened up here. On the left we have the Low Pro Mini Tracker AW, and on the right we have the Low Pro Slingshot. 240? I'm not sure. It's not the smallest bag. It's the one in the middle. And I was going to get the smaller bag just for the compact size, but it's a little too compact. Here I have a full frame D700 with a 105 macro on there. It'll also hold my uh, 24 to 70 28 in there as well. It may not hold a, two, a 70 to 200, however. Um, the Mini Trekker obviously holds a lot more. It's good if you want to carry a little more equipment. These two bags aren't that much heavier per se, but this thing really packs a lot. The guy on the right here's main advantage of that is not only does it open up like a standard camera bag there, but it also opens up on the side. So if you have it on you, you just sling it around, hence the name, and you can have access to your equipment without having to set your camera down, which is really nice. If you're outside or you know you don't want to put it in the snow or the mud or leave it behind I'll demonstrate that in a second as well um, but yeah this guy here the uh, AW tracker the mini tracker it'll hold in the main compartment there you could probably hold a 300 2.8 in there with attached to a full frame um, I don't have a lot of stuff in there now I don't have a lot of stuff in general here but kind of gives you an idea um, yeah you got the SP 900 that's just the uh, MBD10 battery grip. I just threw it in on the middle there. I had nothing else to put in there. A couple of batteries. The uh, Seconic L358 meter. Three Pocket Wizard Plus 2s. I think that's yeah, that's a 50 millimeter 1.4. And here I got the Nikon D700 with the Nikon 105 Macro 2.8 VR. Awesome lens. And then there I have the 16 to 35 f4. Right there is the SP 600, and I think that's a camera strap. 
And then the top compartment, you know, you could put miscellaneous crap in there. I think right now I have the uh, the Sports Shield AW. Or, uh, what the hell's it called? Let's see here. You could put other crap in here, but oh yeah, Aquatex. The uh, Sports Shield. Just kind of cool. That protects your camera and the elements. Throw it over there. It's just a glorified lens or a glorified rain poncho, but it's nice. It's got a nice fabric to it. It's waterproof and it fits the camera pretty decently. All right, so here I have the all weather pack covers sticking out of the bottom of the bags there. They uh, go back inside this nice self contained pouch, which is you know, enclosed by Velcro. Once you have it out, all you do is just pull on it and you stick right over like so. Right, so here you have the mummified camera bags with their uh, respective rain covers on them. The Low Pro AW Mini Tracker and the AW Slingshot. Alright, so here's a quick demonstration of how the Low Pro AW Slingshot Messenger Style bag works. So you have the main retaining strap here, and then you have a supporting one there. And uh, what you want to do, this is a perfect test of the versatility of the bag, because I'm shooting with one hand there, and I'm operating with a camera bag. So you want to swing it around, unlatch that, swing it around like so. Now you have access to your camera. Open it up like so. Take your camera out, take your picture, throw it back in there, close the bag up, swing it back around, and you're good to go. So again, I can do this with one hand gonna go a lot smoother with two. And that's the versatility of the Low Pro AW slingshot camera bag.